welcome to Gordon Guitar. Big time Rush. This time the song is called Not Giving You Up. So Rush could be the word here. This one is pretty high tempo when it comes to the strumming. But we will do that together, so no worry there. We need to set our capo on the first fret and we have six chords to handle. So let's start with the A minor. So A minor is open A, second D, second G, first B and open E. The next chord will be D. So that is open D, second G, third B and second E. Third chord will be D, but with an F sharp in the bass. So that is second on E. Then open A or muted A. If you mute A, you just lean this finger you use on the E string on top of the A. And you get that sound. That is muted. So open or muted A. Then open D, second G, third B, and open E. So the next chord will be G, so that is 3rd on E, 2nd on A, open D, open G, 3rd B, and 3rd E. Then we have C, so that is 3rd on A, 2nd on D, open G, 1st B, and open E. And the final chord will be C, but with a B in the bass. So that is 2nd on A this time, and then 2nd on D, open G, 1st B, and open E. So there you have the 6 chords. Now we need to look at the strumming pattern, and that will be divided into two different parts, because we're going to play different chords separately from this strumming pattern. Let's start with the A minor and play the full strumming pattern. That is one round. So we'll start with the first part, which will be down, up, down, up. So down, up, down, up. And it's great if you can mute right after this down, up, down, up, because that will separate this part from the next part, and that is the effect you want for this song and this kind of playing. So, like that. You can mute with your right hand. I think that is one way to go. And you can also mute with your left hand if you just use a finger available, put it on top of the strings, or if you just lift off the fingers you're using for the chord. A little bit like that. I think the most efficient way here is to use your right hand. That will be the one that works. Uh, a lot here, so that will be more controlled if you use the right hand, in my opinion. Okay, so the first part was down, up, down, up, and then you're gonna continue after this muting with up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, so if you connect these two parts, down, up, down, up, mute, up, down, up, it will be. So that is how it goes. So we'll start with the first verse. You have two rounds, two full rounds of the A minor. Then you shift to D and play one full plus part one. So that will be down, up, down, up, up, down, up, and then down, up, down, up for D. And right after this D, you shift to the D with F sharp in the bass and play part one as well. So, all right. So, so far, A minor two, D one plus part one, and then D F part one. Sounds like this, a little bit slower. All right. And then you shift to G and play two rounds. And then you go to C and play 
one full shroom around plus part one and then you shift to C, B and play part one. So C and then C, B. And that will be one chord progression. Okay, so if you just repeat this part, A minor, two, D, one plus part one and D, F part one. Then you go to G and play kind of the same pattern, two there and go to C, play one plus part one and C, B part one. So slow this chord progression around will sound like this. So that is one round. Now, for the first verse, you will play two rounds of this chord progression. That takes us to the pre chorus in the lyrics when it comes to you, girl. Okay, so now we have just a strumming pattern that is down up, down up. So you can say part one from the original strumming pattern. So down up, down up, that's what's going on now. And with that, we have the chords A minor four times. Then D three times and the DF one time. Okay, and then G four times. Then C three times and C B one time. Okay, so that is one chord pressure around. And if you notice, it's the same chords here. Everything is the same, just the amount of times you're gonna play is a little bit different, and uh, otherwise the timing is, is exactly the same. So four times of down up down up makes up for two times of the full strumming pattern. So it's just a different kind of um, rhythm here, but the timing will be the same. So to repeat everything, A minor four times, D three times, and D F one time, and then G four times. C three times and C B one time. You do that for two rounds and that is the first pre-chorus. Then comes the first chorus here, right? So you have the same way of playing the same chord progression here, A minor and uh, uh, and so on uh, for this chorus. Um, it will be for the first round only one down per chord. And here we will scale off this transition chords, the D, F and the C, B chord. So you will just play one down on A minor, one down on D, one down on G and one down on C for this first round. Then we have the next round. The next round you will play one round in the exact same way as you play the verse play. So there's nothing changes there. It's the same strumming and the same kind of chords with this um, kind of bridge or transition chords like I call them the C B chord and the D F chord. All right So that will be this first chorus two rounds in total That takes us to the second verse and that is played in the same way as the first verse two rounds of the same way of playing and The same goes almost with the second pre chorus It's almost the same as the first one down the difference here is on the second round you have no C there and C, B in the end, okay? So uh, you just skip the last two chords there, otherwise this second pre-chorus is played in the same way. Then comes the second chorus. This one is a bit longer than the first one. So it's, uh, it's about four rounds in total. So the first round will be played in the same uh, way, one down per chord, so A minor, D, G, and C. All right. And the next three rounds, you will play them in the same way as you play the verse play. So you have the same kind of strumming there and the transition chords are with you. So that is the second chorus. In total, four rounds. That takes us to a bridge part in the lyrics. I'm no good at waking up without you, without you. All right. So that is about two rounds. Okay, 
uh, of the same kind of chords now. So you have the first round, only one down of the four chords, A minor, D, G, and C. And on the second round, guess what? You will play the verse play there with the strumming. So you're gonna go down and up there with the transition chords, all right? And that takes us to the final chorus. This is about four rounds of verse play. So you just go on with the strumming with the C, B, and D, F chord there. And in the final round, the fourth final round, you have no G and no C. It's just a vocal part. And that is how this cool song ends from this big time rush, no giving you up, not giving you up, sorry. So that will cover this song. I hope that was uh, helpful for you guys. I hope it was. That's my goal with all these tutorials to, to educate you and make your musical life much easier. So stay tuned here on Gordon Guitar. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, click this like button if you wish, if you uh, think this was great. And yeah, play tuned.